What is sepsis and what are the cause, symptoms and treatments for this life-threatening condition? Sepsis is a potentially life-threatening condition that occurs when the body's response to an infection damages its own tissues and organs. It can lead to organ failure and death if not treated promptly. The main cause of sepsis is typically a bacterial infection, although it can also result from fungal or viral infections. Common sources of infection leading to sepsis include pneumonia, urinary tract infections, abdominal infections, skin infections and bloodstream infections, bacteremia. This can lead to widespread organ dysfunction and failure. It is a medical emergency that requires prompt attention and treatment. Symptoms. The symptoms of sepsis can vary, but they often include fever, hypothermia or hypothermia, low body temperature, rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, confusion or altered mental state, low blood pressure, significant decrease in urine output, skin that is pale or discolored and may be cool to the touch, difficulty breathing. Diagnosing sepsis typically involves a combination of clinical evaluation, blood tests, and imaging studies to identify the source of infection and assess organ function. Treatment. Early and aggressive treatment is crucial for sepsis. Treatment generally involves antibiotics or antifungals, Prompt administration of appropriate antibiotics or antifungal medications is crucial to target the underlying infection. Supportive care. This includes measures to support organ function, such as intravenous fluids to maintain blood pressure, oxygen therapy, and mechanical ventilation if necessary. Source control. Identifying and eliminating the source of infection is essential. This may involve drainage of abscesses, removal of infected tissues, or other interventions depending on the source of infection. Vasopressors. In cases where blood pressure remains low despite fluid administration, vasopressor medications may be used to constrict blood vessels and increase blood pressure. Corticosteroids. In some cases, corticosteroids may be administered to modulate the immune response. Blood products. Transfusions of blood or blood products may be necessary to correct abnormalities in clotting or to provide additional oxygen carrying capacity. Monitoring. Continuous monitoring of vital signs, blood tests, and other parameters is crucial to assess the response to treatment and make adjustments as needed. Prevention. Preventing infections in the first place is a key strategy in preventing sepsis. This includes practicing good hygiene, receiving vaccinations, and managing chronic medical conditions that may increase the risk of infection. Sepsis is a medical emergency. It's important to note that sepsis can progress rapidly, and any signs or symptoms warrant urgent medical attention. Prognosis. The prognosis of sepsis can vary widely depending on several factors, including the promptness of medical intervention, the underlying cause of the infection, the overall health of the individual, and the presence of any pre-existing medical conditions. Factors influencing prognosis include timeliness of treatment, early recognition and prompt initiation of appropriate treatment, including antibiotics and supportive care, can improve the chances of recovery. Source of infection. The type and source of the infection play a role. Some infections may be more challenging to treat than others, and the ability to control or eliminate the source of infection is crucial. Patient's overall health. The overall health and resilience of the patient also influence the prognosis. Patients with underlying health conditions, weakened immune systems, or other medical issues may have a more challenging recovery. Age. The very young and the elderly may have a higher risk of complications and a potentially less favorable prognosis. Severity of sepsis. The severity of sepsis is categorized into stages, including sepsis, severe sepsis, and septic shock. The more severe the condition, the higher the risk of complications and mortality. Response to treatment. The response to initial treatments, such as antibiotics and supportive care, is a critical factor. Some patients may require intensive care and ongoing monitoring. It's important to note that sepsis can lead to long-term complications even in survivors. Some individuals may experience lingering effects, such as organ damage, cognitive impairment, or psychological distress. In recent years, 
there has been a growing awareness of the importance of sepsis early recognition and management, leading to improved outcomes in many cases. However, sepsis remains a serious and potentially life-threatening condition, and close medical supervision is necessary during and after treatment. If someone is suspected of having sepsis, seeking immediate medical attention is crucial to improving the chances of a positive outcome. Early intervention is key to preventing the progression of sepsis to more severe stages and reducing the risk of complications. Thank you for watching. The information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or heard in this content. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor or emergency services immediately.